Doesn't take much to see that what I think of Doctor Who doesn't amount to a hell of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. Okay, Christmas special 2015, The Husband's River Song. Written by Stephen Moffat, directed by Douglas McKinnon, who's given us some gems over the years. McKinnon works regularly on this show. For our Christmas pudding this year, Stephen Moffat offers up a light-hearted romp. It's filled with clever reverses and revelations. He ties up some of the threads in the River Song saga that have been left dangling since 2008. He plays with the notion that River Song doesn't recognize the Doctor in his latest incarnation. He explores the nature of their relationship. Sly, nuanced, arch, a little forced whimsy. The rapport is tight between the two leads, Peter Capaldi and Alex Kingston. The moment she finally gets it is well written, well played. But I'm not going to talk about any of that. I just had it with this show. For Christmas, the Doctor and River wind up on a starship where all the passenger and crew are genocidal murderers. River tells us this is where genocide comes to kick back and relax. Even the staff are required to have a verifiable history of indiscriminate slaughter. Ho, ho, and ho. It's a throwaway joke, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I'm guessing we learn those details so we don't feel too badly when the ship crashes and there's a loss of all hands, including the crew. Maybe I'm too fastidious. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I'm just reaching for an excuse to stop doing videos about Doctor Who. But stop, I will. Jokes about genocide? That's it. Here's where I get off the Moffat bus. I've just had it. I don't want to talk about this program anymore. Give me a call when there's a new showrunner. Maybe I'll come back. Until next time, I'm Mikola. DVD extras? Nothing. Uh, if you really want to hear about this show, these people are reliable. They're good. They can talk about it for you. And here, it's a Me Milio. Now, I offered this one to you last time, and it wasn't ready, but it's ready now, and it's wonderful, energetic, funny. Ben Cook is in it. Bertie Gilbert. My neighbor Chris Perillo is in it. He is such a Star Wars fan, he named his daughter Jedi. I'm in there, too. Look for me. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs>